Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Firstly, I just want to say, let's ignore the fact that I'm in my UDI. Um, I nearly wasn't going to film this video today because I'm just having a bit of a lazy day to be fair. But then I was like, you know what, no, I will film it. However, I am in my UDI. Um, but anyway, today I just thought I'd come on here. I wanted to do another Disney based video. Um, and today I'm going to follow on from my previous video and tell you about the Disney Headquarter final interviews in my process in getting my job on the CRP. Um, so I'm sure all of you are aware by now that I am going to be going to Epcot in Walt Disney World to go and work for the cultural representative program for one year. So today my countdown is currently on, I don't know if you can see that, um, 36 days, 36 days until I moved to Florida, like, I just, I don't even have words really, um, but yeah, so I wanted to come on here today to tell you about my final interview in this process, um, I know a lot of the applicants this year, you've just had your pre-screen interviews with Yummy Jobs. So the final interview is the next part in the process. Um, so essentially what happens is after your pre-screen interview, you wait to hear back from Yummy Jobs. They then select who will be going through to the final interviews which are held at the Disney headquarters in Hammersmith in London. Um, and they are carried out by actual Disney recruiters. So when I went, there were three recruiters um, and you're interviewed by one of them. So once you hear back from Yummy Jobs, um, they'll say to you, you know, you've, you've been ex like not accepted, but you've, what's the word I'm looking for? Um... <clears throat> Essentially, <laughs> they'll say to you, you've got through to the next part in the process. Um, and then you have to wait to hear back from Disney. Um, and Disney will send you an email um, for you to book onto a day and a time slot. So I think last year when we did it, there were three days. Um, so different to Yummy Jobs. Yummy Jobs, you get told the specific date and time that you have to show up for with the Disney final interviews um, when I did it there were a choice of three days and on each day I want to say there were about five maybe six different time slots um, however the time slot is a bit it's not really it's not really a time slot um, so essentially you have to be free the entirety of the day um, because everybody has to arrive I think we had to arrive at 9am uh, and then you do sort of a big group thing first and then later in the day you all have your individual interviews and individual time slots so essentially you do have to be free the whole day anyway um, so yeah so once you've booked on um disney will confirm to you say like thank you for booking your interview your interview will be held at the disney headquarters in hammersmith on this day and this time so they'll like basically respond back to you to confirm it all um so for me my interview was on the 21st of april 2023 so i went down the day before because like i said we had to be there at 9 a.m um, and it was quite nice by this point in the process because um, the majority of the candidates had been added to one big group chat for the CRP um, and obviously I knew a couple of faces from pre-screens as well so this was really lovely because you know lots of us who'd all been accepted were all messaging each other, chatting to each other um, sort of you know calming each other's pre-nerves I guess um 
and there's one girl, Rhiannon. Shout out to you, Rhiannon. Woo! Um, so I've become really friendly with Rhiannon. She is like my day one buddy in this process. Essentially, we both met at pre-screens um, and then we were messaging each other lots after that. So we obviously had the same time slot at pre-screens and then we actually ended up with the same date and time slot for finals which we hadn't planned at all it's just how it happened um which that was really lovely so we'd both gone up the night before and then had both met up and decided to go out for dinner so we went had a meal at wagamama's just talking about all things disney about the interviews the next day what we thought the day would consist of um and just generally it was really nice i think we both agreed that meeting each other the night before was like such a good thing um it was so lovely for us anyway because it meant we could properly like get to know each other it was the first time us like actually properly hanging out because obviously we'd met at the pre-screens but hadn't really had chance to like properly interact with each other so it was really nice from that perspective and then also it did really help with like calming our nerves um obviously this is like such a big thing we've obviously got this far in the process already and this is like our final chance so um yeah it was good that we could just you know have each other to calm each other down i guess um so yeah so we went for dinner at wagamama's and then I caught my tube back to my hotel and Rihanna went back to her hotel and then the next morning um, there was quite a big group of us from the CRP group chat who'd all arranged to go to the Weatherspoons, like just around the corner from where the head office is um, so that we could all go to breakfast and then all walk across to Disney HQ together. Again this was like sort of a way of everyone sort of getting to know each other a little bit before the interviews, calming each other's nerves down. Um, it was really lovely actually, like I think at this point in the process it's sort of less of a competition, like obviously you're all wanting this job, like you all want it more than anything, but I think what was so lovely was that everyone was so supportive of one another, like it genuinely just felt like that like community family atmosphere like like there wasn't any rivalry there was no one trying to like belittle anyone or like be big-headed and try and like you know be like oh i'm better than you there was none of that none of that at all um and i feel like that's something you don't normally get when you're like in situations like that or like you know you are in a sense competing um, but yeah, it was so lovely. So we all met in the Weatherspoons, like ordered a bit of breakfast, sat, chatted, and then all walked across to the Disney HQ. Um, now this in itself is such a massive privilege, like, and it is such a magical day. I think even if you get this far in the process, like, that's amazing and it's such an amazing opportunity to say that you've been to the disney headquarters um this is obviously somewhere that you can't normally go to like you only get to go to disney headquarters if you've been invited there by disney not anyone can just show up like you can't just walk up to the building and say oh i've just come to look around or like oh can i just pop in no like this is secure this is like top disney stuff like you can't just go there um so like everyone was so excited for that aspect of it in itself and it was just so lovely and um, so we went in you had to register at the front desk and then everybody was given a lanyard and on your lanyard was like a little card um with like your name the date and what you were there for and then afterwards we all got to keep our lanyards so here's mine i actually keep it on my keys and i've had it on my keys ever since and it just basically says um it's probably not gonna focus is it there it just says like the walt disney company and it's just sort of 
a standard um, blue lanyard. But honestly, like, this lanyard is, like, so sentimental to me now. Um, <laughs> anyway, I'll stop rambling on about a lanyard. But, yeah, so we all got <laughs> checked in. And then we got told to sit and wait in the, like, foyer lobby area until someone was able to escort us upstairs. So you got taken along the corridor and then there was like a series of lifts and I remember just like being in this building and thinking oh my god you can tell this is the Disney headquarters like everything is Disney themed like it wasn't just a standard metal lift with buttons like no all the lifts are themed um I remember there was a Monsters Inc one I think there was a Winnie the Pooh one. I want to say there was one from Up, but I can't remember. You know, I can't even remember how many lifts there were. I feel like this whole day was sort of so overwhelming. Um, like, you're trying to take as much of it in as you can, but it's impossible to remember it all. Um, but yeah, so you go up in these lifts and a load of us all got taken in them and we're told what floor to go to. Um, and then we all had to go into like this massive, I don't even really know what to call it, sort of like seminar room. Um, and in total, I think there was about 50 of us on this day for interviews. So like all the seats are lined up and there's sort of a big like stage and projector and screen at the front. And this is where we met a lady called Yvette. Um... She is lovely. She's one of the head recruiters for Disney and she recruits for the cultural representing <laughs> I'll start again, shall I? Um so Yvette does the recruitment for the cultural representative program for participants all over the globe. Um she is constantly on the go, constantly travelling around. So like she knows what she's looking for. She like interviews all the time all over like she knows what she wants um so i remember going into this thinking like you know i need to make my best first impression to this lady um because obviously like she's gonna be watching us all times she knows what she wants like you need to stand out to her um yeah i remember thinking all of that so i went and like my sort of little group that I was with we were like the first ones or one of the first lot to arrive um and we actually went in and then we sat along the front row so we were sat there just waiting for everyone else to show up I think the presentation was due to start at half nine and by this point it was about ten past nine um so we were sat there just chatting amongst ourselves and then Yvette actually came over and started chatting to us as well and I remember we were having this long conversation about, like, just the most random things and things... So, she's American and she was asking us things about the UK, like, we were chatting about the weather. It was a typical British day that morning. Um, I remember it had actually been raining and I'd... When I walked out of my hotel that morning, it was chucking it down. So, I'd gone back in and I ended up having to hire an umbrella from the hotel just so I didn't get wet because the top I was wearing was like a sort of cerise pink blouse that I was like, if this gets wet, like I am screwed because it would just go completely see-through. Um, so yeah, it was this typical British day. We were talking about the weather with a vet. We were talking about, I'm pretty sure a conversation about rich tea biscuits came up, like all sorts. We were just having a conversation. Um, and then it obviously got to half nine and that was when the presentation started. So this is essentially like the first part of the day. Um, so you'll all be shown this presentation as a whole group, um, which is carried out by a vet and a couple of the other recruiters who were there. Um, and the presentation, I want to say it went on for about an hour. However, <laughs> we were about... 15 minutes into the presentation and then all the fire alarms went off <laughs> and 
I just think that's such a memorable thing to happen. Whilst at the Disney HQ and on the day of our final interviews. Like, um, and the funniest thing at the time was that all of us sat there. We thought it was part of the interview. Like, <laughs> we thought we'd all been set up in the respects of they wanted to see how we handled the situation. So we were all like a bit confused and um, we all ended up picking up our things and going outside. So we got escorted out of the building via some back fire exit, went out and where the HQ is, you sort of come out right next to a shopping centre. Um, and I just then remember we were stood in the entrance of a shopping centre for ages until, you know, we got the all clear to go back in. Um, yeah, and this was just a part of our day that was sort of even more memorable. And during this time, like, we were all just stood chatting to each other. Um, but it was very much like, oh, like, we were having to be careful because we were all there, like, these recruiters are very much watching us now and watching how we interact with people. Um, and still, we weren't sure. <laughs> we weren't sure whether it was, like, a part of the interview or not. It wasn't, by the way. Like, this <laughs> this isn't something they do. Um, but it felt very much like it was at the time, which is just hilarious. Um, yeah, it felt very much a part of the process. But I assure you it wasn't. You're not all going to be escorted outside in some fire alarm. Um, so yeah, so then we went back upstairs and then went back in the room. We did the rest of the presentation. Oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> and then what happens is you'll all have your time slot for the day. Obviously, our day was then running behind schedule because of the whole fire evac situation that had happened. Um, so, I can't even remember what time slot I was booked on to. I think I was booked on to the 11 or maybe 11.30 time slot. But essentially, whatever time slot I was in, all of us in that time slot got taken to a separate room. And it was like a boardroom room. I think typical, like, apprentice-style room. Like, long oblong table with all like office chairs around it screens on the wall so we all got taken in there um and essentially we all just got told like you know sit and chat amongst yourselves until it's time for your time slot um and then what happened was when the recruiters are ready they come in the room one at a time and they go okay who wants to go next which that in itself is very daunting um, because it's not even a case of they come in and they say oh yeah uh, Morgan Wells and they call you out like no they come in and they literally go oh who wants to go next um, and obviously like everybody is so nervous for this realistically nobody wants to go next but then there's a part of you that's like, actually, I really need to get this done and dusted and out the way with. Because um, the longer I'm sitting here, the more and more nervous I'm getting. So, I want to say there was probably about 20 of us in this room to start off with. Maybe maybe a few less, maybe like 15. Um, and I think by the point I went, I was maybe about the seventh person to go. Um, and I actually ended up with a vet um interviewing me so she ended up being my interviewer and she was so lovely um honestly me and her were just having such a long conversation the entire time and this is the point in the video that you're probably almost interested to know um so you're probably all wanting to know what interview questions were they asked what was the interview like genuinely i was only asked one question <laughs> like so essentially we went in we went back into this room we'd been in before and the three different recruiters are sat in opposite corners of the room with like a desk set up and obviously 
they're facing inwards and you're like facing the corner towards them um the first thing she did like she's there with her laptop first thing she did she just confirmed a few details from me like you know nothing extreme just like confirmed my name confirmed i think my passport i think we had to take our passports and i think she had to confirm my passport number honestly this was literally a year ago and i can't remember but essentially she just had to confirm a couple of bits and then she asked me one question and that one question was tell me about yourself so obviously you can go in multiple directions from that um that is a very broad question and part of me at the time was thinking blimey there is so much I can say, but also, what do you want to know? Um, so I remember I talked about like my job, my current role, what I currently did. Um, I think I sp spoke a bit about my hobbies, about my love for Disney. Um, I then tried to link up some of the stuff that I'd previously spoke about in my Yummy Jobs interview. So I mentioned about the whole cheese rolling thing. Um, where I come from, my culture, um, I said about like the Gloucester Keys and Gloucester Docks and how like the new Alice Through the Looking Glass film, parts of that were actually filmed there. Um, so I was trying to just think on the spot, think what's she going to be interested in? Um, I think I also said about how like I'm so excited for the programme, like meeting different people from around the world like I have a massive passion for travel like I was trying to bring up all this stuff um and it's weird because thinking about it now I genuinely can't remember what I said um other than what I've just said to you I can't remember what else I said however I do remember that my interview went on a very long time most people I think we're in and out within about 10-15 minutes. Um, I think my interview went on for about 25 minutes and when I came out a couple of people said to me you were in there a really long time and I was like was I? and they were like yeah um, and then I, so then afterwards I was like stressing thinking oh my gosh I've spoke far too long like what have I talked about like but everyone was saying to me like no because the thing is these recruiters they know what they want they're so brutal if you were just rambling on about something they weren't interested in they're not going to be scared to tell you so everyone was sort of reassuring me in that way and was like look i don't know what you said but whatever you were saying and whatever you were chatting about must have been very interesting um so yeah so Afterwards, I then got taken back out, got escorted back downstairs um, and had to go back to the front desk. And then we had to give our little identity cards back in on the way out. Um, essentially, I think it's just because that identity card gives you permission and access into the building for the day. And obviously, they don't want you trying to return. So we did have to hand those back in. And then... After the interview, we actually um, had all sort of arranged to meet back in the Weatherspoons, like just down the road, um, which was really lovely. So I met up with a load more people and I actually got talking to a lovely, lovely, lovely group of people who <laughs> to this day currently are now my Disney besties. They're my Disney best friends. Um, and it was so lovely because I hadn't spoke to them in the morning. like. I think there were a couple of them who I'd briefly like messaged on the group chat but other than that I hadn't spoke to them. So I got chatting to this group of people, they were lovely, like Harriet, Warren, Danielle, Freya, um, actually no, wait, Freya were you there? I feel awful saying this. Freya was there. No. Freya, I, I apologise. <laughs> I think Freya was there 
in the Weatherspoons, but then she had her interview later in the day. So couldn't come with us afterwards. Yeah, we're gonna go with that. Freya, you can correct me if I'm wrong and I apologise. <laughs> Love you, Freya. <laughs> Um, but anyway, yeah, so that was lovely, and then those of us who were there afterwards decided to get the tube and go back into central London, we went around the Disney store, um, and we just spent the rest of the day, like rest of the afternoon hanging out together, which was so, so lovely, um, and we all just instantly clicked, like, I've never met a group of people that I've just so instantly, like, bonded with, and it was just so lovely um, and I'm so happy because like that group we have all made it um, like to, to Epcot um, so we're all going to be out there at points like during the next year which I cannot believe like I'm so so grateful for honestly this is the most lovely group of people I've ever met um, and I know like we're just gonna have the best time so genuinely if you are applying for the program if you've made it this far in the process like just think yourself so grateful um, for even getting this far obviously it is such a competitive program to get into and like these friends and these people you meet they will be your friends for life like yeah they are just the loveliest group of people um, and I'm so grateful that I'm gonna get to spend the majority of the next year living in Florida, like all living our Disney best lives together. Um, so yeah, I think that's pretty much all I've got to say sort of for this video. I just wanted to give you like a bit of a story time, a bit of sort of like an insight into my time in the process um, and like how it was for me. Obviously, different people have different experiences of it all, but, like, I thought if I could give you my experience, then that might help you, um, if you are thinking of applying in future, or if you have applied and you've made it this far in the process, like, congratulations, and I hope this helps you, um, when you go for your interview. Um, yeah, if you've enjoyed, be sure to give my video a big thumbs up, and comment down below um, if you've got any questions, any queries, anything at all. If you want to know anything about my program, about me starting, comment it down below. And if you are enjoying, make sure you hit that subscribe button because like I said at the start of this video, I move out to Florida in 36 days time and I have so much content planned. There will be a lot of videos coming to you very, very soon. Um, so yeah. That's going to be it for today. Uh, take care, everyone, and I'll see you really soon. Bye.